Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nerina. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. If this is your first time coming to my channel, my name is Nerina or Rin. You can call me whatever you want. But yeah, I do a lot of study abroad here in Korea. Related stuff, videos, study in Korea, vlogs. I make a lot of vlogs, like daily videos of me living my life, study abroad here in Korea. So if you're interested in all those kind of Korean related stuff, you can definitely follow this YouTube channel. You need to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos related to this stuff. So yeah, as you can see in the title of this YouTube, video I'm going to make a very detailed process of how you can apply to study here in any university in Korea this is actually a series I'm going to make uh, the, this first video is going to be a very basic step-by-step -step how to apply to a Korean university the process is basically it's a very general I'm going to make it very general you don't need to worry it's everything's the same so I have my iPad here with me and I'm going to guide you guys on how to apply to the university in Korea starting from uh, searching for the website, searching for the university, the major, the required documents and then how is the process of applying online application, waiting for the online application and all that stuff. I'm going to definitely guide you guys through this um, process and these are some of the topics that I'm going to talk in this video today this video is going to be quite long and since it's a very detailed guide on how to apply to uh, study here in korean in a university here in korea so it's a quite long video and i really hope you guys can get through this with me together and i'm going to get you guys so i'm going to be your teacher for today and this is all of the topics that we are going to learn <laughs> learn we're going to talk about in today's video Oh yeah, before I forgot, if you are a Malaysian, I already made two videos for this how to apply to study in Korea after you graduate high school. So you definitely should check those two videos out first before you come here and watch this video. But if you're not Malaysian, you can follow this video because this is going to be English and my Malaysian video is in Malay. So again, another disclaimer, another disclaimer, I really need to put this out. This is only a guide when I was applying, like I just telling my story, my way of applying to university. There are a lot more other ways of applying to universities here in Korea, but this is one of the way and this is how I did it. And I'm going to share what I did to help you guys. It all depends on you, on how hard you work on it, how good you are in the test or exam or your results or that stuff. All depends on you. It's like I'm only the teacher showing all you the knowledge how to apply, but you are the one who are going to apply to universities here in Korea. So it's all depends on your effort. My guide here is probably not 100% correct because again, this is just the way that I did to apply to universities here in Korea. This is only a guide. It is all up to you to choose not to do it, not to follow me. It, it's your choice. You, It's your choice watching this video. It's your choice to do or not to do the things that I share to you so i'm not forcing you guys like seriously really literally i'm not forcing you to follow my steps here this is just a guide that what what i did to apply here in korea as a private student self-sponsored student malaysian alone so that's me so let's see study abroad in korea the first thing is graduate from high school and then you take the korean language program and then you apply for university and then you go to the university it's a very very simple process it's very simple but then the process of applying itself is quite complicated the first step is before you apply to the university why are you applying in korea why do you want to study abroad in korea those kinds of questions you need to ask yourself because that is going to be your goal but to know what's your main reason of studying here in korea that is going to be your something something that you want to hold on to so before you start applying to study here in Korea you need to know why are you, why are you studying here in Korea first after that what do you want to study in Korea what do you want so that's your major so major or course what do you want to study in Korea what subject 
what major so that is also you need to consider yourself like for me I want to study in business administration so I want to study business administration in Korea so that's my major I want to study that in Korea so you need to know your major first before you apply to any university not only in Korea but also in any other country any other country it's basically the same before you go into university you need to know what you want to do what you want to major on what you want to study on and then after choosing your major you need to ask yourself do you want to work in Korea or do you want to work in your home country why do I ask this why do you need to ask it yourself because Korea because in Korea if you want to work here in Korea the higher the university that you are in you can get into the job that you want better like faster easier something like that because in Korea you need to know their culture their work culture their society that they actually emphasize a lot on the ranking of the university so if you want to study here in Korea you need to know that the higher the university ranking the better job or the easier you can get that job to work here in Korea if you don't want to work in Korea, you want to after you graduate from university, you want to go back to your home country. That you need to make sure the degree certificate. You need to make research that the university that you choose, the degree that they offer you, do they have accreditation? If your degree is uh, accepted to work in your home country, even if you are going to work in Korea, you still need to check that just in case if I don't know you suddenly want to change your mind you want to go back to your home country and and work in your home country you definitely need to make sure that the degree that you're going to take is accredited by your home country because I heard a lot of um, it's not in Korea but I heard a few cases where your degree your master degree your undergraduate degree or your PhD degree is not accredited by your home country or any other country so that's basically just waste the whole four years three years two years of your study to just get not having accredited degree so that's really really bad and there's a lot of private universities that do, do those kinds of stuff like your degree is not accredited are not accepted in other I don't know company or countries or all that stuff okay the f it's already the first stuff it's already the second stuff but it's quite um, intense right it's gonna be an intense video so bear with me with it because these are you're going to waste you're going to waste you're going to live four to five years of your life here in Korea if you're going to study abroad here in Korea and th those five years are filled with lots of money there's a lot of money money involved you need to choose it properly and make sure that the things that you choose are not a waste later okay so the next thing after you choose your major after you check after you decide you're going to work in Korea or you're going to work in your home country and checking all the credits and then you're going to choose the university so for me I give my example so like when I was in Malaysia when I was researching for all of this stuff okay first of all I already think in my head okay Nurina I'm going to major in business administration or international business in Korea and I'm going to work here in Korea so knowing that knowing that I, I want to work in Korea I need to choose a better university ranking so maybe the top 10 or top 50 top 20 I will make another video tips on how to choose university in Korea but just in general I choose the top university that offers business administration and especially the university that has good ranking on their business major for example I choose Korea University for their business uh, administration major because I know Korea University is the number one business administration major for private university in Korea literally it's a fact that it's a good university it's a high ranking one accredited one so that's why I choose Korea University okay although I know that Korea University has a really good business administration major but knowing that knowing that the Korea University is a really good university in Korea it's going to be really really hard to get in well it's a literally it's a fact it's so hard to get in I applied for twice I applied in Korea University twice and I failed twice so that's how hard it is to get into the business administration major in Korea University so it's really hard not gonna lie 
knowing that it's really hard to apply and it's really hard to get accepted in that university I also apply for another three universities so basically I applied for four universities just in case I, if I fail one there's like plan B, plan C, plan D like backing me up so then I decided I applied for Korea University, Chungang University, Kumin University and Hanyang University three to four university I really recommend three to four university because I have a few not a few I have a lot actually friends that apply for three to four universities in Korea but all of them failed all four of them I recommend three to four university but at least at least if you're really really confident at least two to university there's no guarantee that you you will going to get accepted in that one university especially when you apply for really really high ranking university in Korea you already get through a very hard period of applying to university and then you just apply for one and then you fail so that's really disappointing at last the next thing would be how to apply so the thing is before you apply the things that you need to know there's a lot of the things that you need to know like for example just now you need to choose the major you need to choose why the reason you why why you choose Korea as your study abroad destination why you choose what major you choose what kind of university you choose and then now you are going to apply and now I'm going to show you how you're going to apply for the university in Korea okay it's a very general process since uh, all of the process they are basically the same first things first you need to go to the university's website okay I've been repeating like this sentence thousand times go to the university's website go to the university's website everything's there but then nobody wants to hear me so let's show you guys I guess for today I'm going to apply to Hanyang University and then I'm going to show you guys so first of all you need to go to the university's website you need to Google Google, okay, Hanyang University. Let's go. You just Google it, Hanyang University, and then you go to the website, and then you go to the English. You search for English. So you get to the English website because you can't speak Korean, you can't read Korean. I'm not in the mood to go for Korean, so English. Go to English, and then. All of the university's website, they all have literally similar tabs. You can see there's an admission, education, and then admission guide. You just like go to the admission guide, and then you can see there's admin, uh, international admission for the international students like me. Let's go for the admission. All of the university, they all have similar, like legit similar. So you go to the admission. And then you go to the regular admission. Fun fact, in Hanyang University now, starting from 2021, they have English track admission. So even if you don't know Korean, you can apply, still apply to the English track um, using your IELTS or TOEFL or if you are from English native speaking country, UK, US, all that stuff. But in today's video, I'm going to guide all of you to the regular admission, not the English track, just the regular admission all right you can see here that's this regular admission guide there's the Korean version English version and Chinese version you go to the English version and then you can see that's def that's basically it's 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 legit this thing that's all you just go to the university's website search for admission for international student go to the brochure everything's that legit literally literally everything's there but then nobody wants to do that nobody wants to follow me so I need to guide you guys right because nobody wants to do it themselves um, yeah so now that you already download the brochure you need to read every single word in that brochure please please read every single thing in the brochure that the university provide that's literally all of the guideline I literally just follow all the, gu the guideline in the brochure to apply if you don't want to read it it's your fault it's your fault if there's something happens because I'm not going to read all of this 
in this video because it's going to take hours and hours so you need to read all of the things in the website I'm just going to give you the basic application process how to apply to the university there's the content and then there's the application procedure so the application procedure according to the Hanyang University 2021 fall semester that would be the online application online application first through their website and then there's application form and required document submission by mail or by office and then they have document screening and then they have interview and performance test for high university they actually have entrance exam before the corona pandemic they actually have the admission test and i did it but in other university they don't have admission test so that's really nice but then Due to the corona pandemic now, Hanyang University don't have the admission, the admission test. They already like get rid of it, so you guys can definitely apply to Hanyang as well. Um, and then there's the admission result announcement, and then there's the tuition fee. So you already got the brochure, you download it, and you need to read everything. And then let's see. For example, for example, for example, for example, you want to study medicine in Korea and then you want to choose Hanyang University as your chosen university, okay? But then you need to check first if the university offers international student the course that they want. That's how you use the brochure, is to check if the university offers the major that you want to apply for for example medicine in Hanyang University you check let's check here you need to download the brochure for international student okay you are not Korean you cannot apply that okay let's see you search 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 mm, do they have medical in here medicine 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 nope I don't think so hmm Unfortunately, Hanyang University don't have medicine major for international students that you need to check as well. That's very important. If the university that you want to apply for do not offer that major for you, you need to search for other university. But for me, for business administration, they have um, business administration in Hanyang University and they also have English track for it. Well, basically the difference is that for the normal track, you need to give your topic exam result, which is the Korean test of proficiency in Korean topic. Um, that's the exam result. You need to give that certificate to apply for the normal one, but for English track, you only need to give them your IELTS or TOEFL. So the language requirement is different. English track is 100% English. The normal track is, well, it's a mix of Korean and English, but like, there's still Korean and you need to give them your Korean proficiency certificate exam result. And then you need to check for the language requirement. You need to check for the language requirement. Just like I said just now, if the university offers English track, they have different language requirement. Let me tell you guys, for the normal one, they need topic. The, like I said just now, the Korean proficiency result okay Korean exam result and, and then the English one is the English proficiency test result so here you can see here Hanya University Korean language proficiency standards they actually already state their standards how high you need to be in order to apply and get accepted to Hanya University it says here applicants who have topic level 4 or higher applicants who completed Hanya International of Institute of International Education level 4 or higher applicants who pass the online Korean language test either three of them choose one you guys are probably wondering why do I want you to check the language requirement first it is because it is because depending on the language that you choose it depends on the way you apply and your flow your process now that you already read all of the brochure all of the requirements and they say for the language proficiency you need to have topic level 4 or higher for me I would definitely recommend level 5 or 6 and having higher topic exam means you have 
higher chance of getting accepted into the universities. For me, if you are going to take topic, please target level 5 or level 6. According to the language that you choose, the process is going to be different. So I'm just going to share my example because that's what I did to apply. But yeah, basically I choose the normal, regular admission, right? I already know that I need to have topic level 4 or higher to get into the university and not only in Hanyang but Korea University, Chungang University, Kum University, I check every single university and they all have similar language standards so now I already know that I need to, t to have Korean language proficiency. That time I was in Malaysia, I'm still in front of my computer, I'm still doing all of the research and stuff, I already know my major, I already know what university I want to I wanna go, I already checked the language requirement which is the Korean language requirement. I need to know Korean language to study in Korea. In a Korean university, you need to know Korean language, okay? And now, I need to choose whether I want to study Korean language by myself, Korean language in Malaysia, in a Malaysian institute that teach Korean language, or do I fly myself to Korea to go to the Korean language school? to study Korean to get that topic exam. The process would basically be me gradu graduating from high school, applying, like research all of the how to study in Korea, how to apply the language requirement, the major, the university. Graduate from high school, research for the required documents, now I know the language requirement. Now my decision would be, I have a few cho choices, right? My decision would be I want to fly to Korea and go to the Korean Language Institute here in Korea and study Korean language and take the topic exam in Korea and then after that I apply for university and then I go to the university in Korea. All the research stuff, they're all done in my home country but then I go learn i go to learn korean language here in korea i apply for university i go to the university that's basically the process here and then if you ask me if you don't know korean if you don't have topic exam can you still apply to the university in korea the probability of you get accepted in the university would be extremely extremely low because it's literally in the required document that you need to have Korean language proficiency in order to get into the university, in order to study the major that you want. And topic level 4 is considered intermediate. To have that intermediate standard in the required documents, which is obligatory, you need you compulsory, you need to have that document or else you're not going to get accepted. So to have that thing in the required document is extremely important. So if you ask me, do I really need to have topic exam? You ask, your, you ask yourself, you answer that yourself. It's basically in the required document. It's basically in the guideline that you need to have Korean language. So how you learn Korean, it all depends on you. You want to study it yourself. You want to take institute in your home country, do it. Or you can just fly to come to Korea and go to any language institute that they have here in Korea. A lot of universities in Korea, they offer Korean language institute. For example, for me, since originally my dream university, my goal university was Korea University, I'll just go to the Korean language center, KUKLC, and apply for that. For the language, I go for KUKLC, and for my degree, I go for KU. That's literally very simple, that's what I did. And then for the Korean Language Center, well, that one you need to search for yourself as well because it all depends on you. And I also already make a very detailed videos. I have a lot of videos that talk about Korean Language Center, especially KUKLC, Korea University, Korean Language Center. I talk a lot about those stuff. I already make a lot of videos, so you definitely should check all of the videos out. I will link all of the videos in the description box, in the comment section, so you guys definitely need to check that out if you are interested to know more about learning Korean language here in Korea. You do anything you want, I don't care, as long as you take the exam, the topic exam, and get the topic result that the university wants. The main objective here is to get the topic exam 
result. Topic 4 or higher. That's the most important thing. Whatever process you do to get that is not really important. Self-study, home country, go to Korea, whatever you want to do. As long as you get the topic exam result to apply to university. Okay, because that's literally their required documents. So, I want to learn Korean in KUKLC from level 1 until level 6. That's literally my goal. And while I'm studying for Korean language, I'm going to study at the same time for the topic exam. Learning Korean and learning topic exam is totally different thing. It's like, it's like learning English and learning for IELTS. It's different, right? So, yeah. While I'm learning Korean, I'm going to learn how to uh, answer topic exam, how to answer the question, how to how to write the essay, blah 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 blah. Because in order to in order to take the exam, you need to know Korean. Oh, and then disclaimer for this video. It applies to everyone, okay? Even if you are from, you have diploma, or if you have foundation, O level, A level, maybe not master's degree or PhD because this is going to be different. This is for undergraduate degree. If your goal is to get to get into university in undergraduate degree, this is the video for you. This video is only for the undergraduate degree. All right, I'm so giving me myself an example. I. Graduate from high school, I apply for the Korean Language Center, Korean Language Program. And while I'm learning the Korean language, I learn, I study for topic exam as well. And when the application, university application time is getting near, uh, I start preparing for the documents and all. So while I learn Korean language, while I learn for the topic exam, I also slowly surely definitely prepare for all the documents that they want as well the application date is slowly getting nearer so that time you're going to start to get a really you need to do a few stuff at the same time you need to prepare for the topic you need to prepare your documents your required documents to apply to the university and all that stuff Korean language topic required documents apply if you see the if you see the website, the brochure, they actually have quite a few, it's like 13, 12 to 13 documents that you need to prepare in order to apply for the university. I think this video is already extremely, extremely, extremely long for you guys already, so I'm going to make another video. And because this is a series, it's a series, I literally have five videos of how to extremely detailed on each and every process for example the required documents tips to choose the university in Korea choosing major and the tuition fees or scholarship as well and then the required documents the study plan future plan as well as the self introduction plans which are the documents in the required documents the compulsory document that you have to give them so I'm going to give tips on how to write the study plan, future plan, self-introduction, all that stuff and then there's also the visa and the bank statement and all that stuff. I'm going to make very detailed videos like a lot of videos about them but in this video it's just like how you before you apply and then the process itself, how to choose and all that stuff. The brochure, how you get into the university website, this is what this video is all about. Like I said it's now language topic prepare the documents and apply to university right so preparing the documents i definitely need to make another videos because like i said just now they have 12 to 13 documents that you need to prepare and although it says 12 to 13 documents actually on one document they have branches so it's not 12 to 13 it's a lot the required documents are just like you need to prepare them prepare them but the online application is where you actually apply for the university. If you see at the brochure again, the first things first is the online application. But this online application, they have a certain date. They have like certain date for you to apply for the online application. And then after that, you need to submit all of the prepared documents. You already prepare all the required documents and then at the date that they want there's online application 
and then after online application you need to submit you need to post all of the documents that you already prepared you need to post all of it to the university and then uni the university will get it and they will screen everything they will judge you and then after that a few months later they will announce the successful applicants if you are accepted after that the university will guide you on how to apply for visa and all those stuff so after that i'm probably not going to uh, guide you guys because i'm just going to guide you how to apply for the university only so to sum up all of the information in today's video first of all you need to know your major what you want to study in korea and then what university you want to study in korea and then if you want to study in a good university good ranking university you want to apply for jobs here in korea or you want to apply for jobs in your home country depends on all that and then go to the university's website and then you need to check if the university offers the major that you want you need to go to the university's website and then download the brochure that they have all university will provide those stuff so you just need to check them you just google the university's name go to the website search for english and then search for international admission 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 that's literally the keyword admission go to that download the brochure check the major that you want read all of the required documents read all of the information in the brochure please i apply for this like for six months or more i cannot help you guys in a very short amount of videos like a very short time video you guys need to check them out yourself and it's not even for four universities this is for one university and you need to do the same thing for all university so it takes four times the work so i'm not going to um guide you on that because i just going to guide you for one uh, in general so yeah after you check the required documents you prepare the, all the required documents the language so if your language you're Korean you want to study Korean by yourself or not but the main important thing is to get the topic exam result whether far or higher I recommend five or six but basically that you need to learn Korean language first and then you need to get the topic exam result and then by the time for the application date you can apply for that online application after you apply for the online application you need to submit all of the required documents that they already state in the in the brochure they already state all of the required documents that you need to prepare so you prepare all of those documents beforehand okay beforehand and then you prepare that and then you submit all of the documents through mail or by hand in person if you are in korea already uh, but yeah, mail or person, you send it to the office and then you just wait for them to screen all those documents and if and then there's a certain date where they will announce all the successful applicants and that time you can check um, if you are accepted or not. Basically, this is the process of how to apply, how to study uh, in any universities in Korea in general, this is the basic steps, the general steps and for the more detailed one, I'm going to make more videos for that, okay? I really hope that I could help you guys through this video and if I do help you, please do like this video because I want to know if it actually works or not. I'm definitely going to make a lot more videos about study abroad here in Korea and I make a lot of vlogs as well. You guys definitely should subscribe to this channel and like this video. Subscribe to this channel to support me because through you guys support is how I manage to make all of these videos. Like you need to subscribe to this channel and follow my Instagram to, to know about my well-being here in Korea and Instagram. Instagram literally at me at my Instagram there's you go to my profile and you can see my highlights of my Instagram stories stories highlight IG highlight IG stories all the stuff you can see Q&A 1 Q&A 2 those are the posts that I did I answered a lot of you guys questions uh, especially how, how to apply to Korea University Korean Language Center uh, how's the life here in Korea the accommodation the halal food q and all those stuff all of very information stuff are at my instagram highlight um they're called q a 
one Q and A two. So you guys definitely should follow me uh, for more updates and post all about all those stuff. All of you have similar questions, and I did answered a lot of them through my Instagram, through my videos here here in YouTube. So you guys definitely should check all of my videos as well. You go to my channel, you you press that channel, you press my channel name. Go and watch all of my videos related to studying Korea. You follow me on my social media, uh, my Instagram. Go to my highlight, read all of the Q and A one and Q and A two, because that's how, uh, that's where I put all of the information and stuff. So yeah, you guys should make your own research. Definitely, you cannot rely hundred percent on me. And even this video, it's not hundred percent fail proof. This is just a guide for you guys, so I just hope that this guide actually help you to give you a basic understanding of how to apply to study here in Korea. Thank you again for watching until the end. Thank you so much and yeah, see you guys again. Bye!